Last cold start. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Time FK7, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different uh, because today I'm gonna to be showing you guys, I'm not gonna be showing you guys, but I'm gonna be telling you guys about my Carvana experience. Let's go. So about a month ago, me and my wife decided to look into getting a new car. And that new car, well, actually new truck, was supposed to be a Toyota Tacoma. Uh, originally, we went to the dealership and we put down a $500 reservation fee because they were offering the Tacomas with no markups. So we agreed to put down $500. The only catch is we had to wait four to six months for the truck to arrive. So we were like, okay, cool. Four to six months, no markup. That's a deal. A couple of weeks go by and they call me up. They said, I'm now gonna have to wait eight months due to the supply issues that car manufacturers are having. So I went ahead, went to Carvana, looked up a used Toyota Tacoma off-road. After searching and searching on the app, I finally found a used Toyota Tacoma, a 2020 model with only 12K miles in near mint condition with a Tanu, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tanu cover. So it's like that cover on the truck bed for those of you who don't know what that was. Um, well, the only issues was in the description, it just said it had a couple of minor scratches. So there is minor scratches on the hood and then there is minor scratches on the rear of the car next to uh, where you put the gas. So, you know, it wasn't a big deal for me because it can easily be fixed. It wasn't any major scratches or anything. It was literally just scuff marks. So, you know, on the app, you can see the car, you can see a bunch of pictures of the truck uh, which then I viewed all of the pictures and I made sure, you know, everything checked out okay on the pictures uh, because it literally looked brand new. The previous owner didn't even touch it except maybe they put like a Tanu cover on it. And that's about it. Went ahead, made the purchase. The trade-in value for this car at Carvana was nearly 30000 because they were originally, if I were to sell this to them, they offered me 28000 But with tax savings, and all that stuff, if you do a trade-in, they gave you an additional like 1,500 or close to that number. So pretty much 30,000 in total for the Honda Civic. They were selling the truck for a pretty high price, but they were offering to buy this car at a pretty high price price as well so it all like balances out so I agreed I did all the paperwork on the app um, it was really easy it literally took like 10 minutes to get approved and like fill in all the information of the car uh, all I had to do was take a picture of the odometer my license plate and then I had to call my insurance um, to get the truck onto my insurance and remove the Honda Civic because we're tr doing a trade-in so all of that was pretty much pretty easy. Uh, I did have to call my insurance company a couple times because um, I think due to high volume, they weren't, you know, they were busy. So I had to call them a couple times to get a hold of them. It took, I, I think, about 30 to 40 minutes um, of talking to them on the phone uh, so that we can get the cars removed. But, you know, that's not on Carvana's and that's more of my insurance companies and uh, why it took so long. I don't know. I scheduled the pickup date, which was originally uh, September 20. But then I remembered I had a dentist appointment that day. So I went ahead, rescheduled it to September 22. They made it super easy for me to uh, change the schedule and all that stuff. I even called them to get like a rep on the phone so that we can discuss, you know, what else paperwork I need uh, and if I'm good with making the trade. So got that done, verified with them, everything was complete. So waited three and a half weeks later, 
just silence. So a day before the actual trade-in, uh, I get a call from Carvana saying, hey, uh, we sent you some documents that need to be notarized. Can you get these notarized uh, by noon the next day? But me, I'm at work 8.30 till 4, sometimes even 6 p.m. So I don't have time to get anything notarized because by the time I'm done work, everything is closed. So I'm thinking like, why would you send this a day before? No biggie, I clicked on the link and then it took me to like a 24 seven notary thing, which I didn't even know existed. So I went ahead, um, got the papers processed, signed everything. I was on the phone with a guy. Uh, we were doing like a video call. So yeah, that all took 10 minutes. So I submitted the notary. At that time, I pretty much officially had everything ready. So all I had to do was just go to Carvana and do the trade-in. So at that time, I was super excited because obviously, you know, this is the day before the big trade-in date. You know, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my truck. I'm gonna have new content for the channel. I was watching reviews and I was like researching what kind of mods that I should be putting on the car. I even had some sponsors a week prior send me some stuff so that I can customize the truck once I get it because obviously, you know, I had to change some things a bit because like I said, it had like a chrome bumper, chrome badges. It didn't have like a step bar, me being a short person, I needed a step bar. So I got all that things ready, you know, from my sponsors. I have it in my garage, all stock. The morning of delivery date, you know, I went to work. In the afternoon, I get a phone call from Carvana. They left me a message pretty much saying that they were detailing the car and they noticed on the wheels, the paint was coming off. So, you know, I thought it was just one wheel that was defected, but it turns out it was all wheels. The way that the Carvana guy explained it was that it wasn't a big deal. Like it was just like spots, like paint spots on the wheels. So I told them, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna be switching out the wheels out, you know, anyways. They were offering me a $100 uh, detailing voucher to whatever detail or uh, I can bring the car into which again made me think that it was such a minor issue because a hundred dollars for detailing isn't that much so fast forward delivery time me and my family with my in-laws uh, went to Carvana we were all excited because we wanted to see that elevator that infamous elevator like you put a coin in the thing and then there's an elevator that'll bring your car to you. We were so excited to see that. We get there, I checked in, you know, like normal. And then the lady tells me to wait. A couple minutes later, the guy comes in and like he says, hey, do you wanna see the car first? I was like, sure, why not? And I was expecting for us to go up in an elevator uh, because, you know, the Carvana garage usually stores their cars high. But then he took me to the back of the Carvana building. And then that's when I saw it. That's when I saw how bad the truck looked. And it was pretty much, it was literally a completely different truck because the Carvana truck pictures that they sent me looked brand new. This truck, however, it was bad. And I'll show you guys. Here's the video that I took. So the wheels are like orange, copper color for some reason on this side. Uh, they got the nice grill on, which wasn't in the description. A couple scratches here. Paint's bubbling. This side looks disgusting. I mean, this looks fine, but it's still kind of gross looking. Uh, we got a bunch of scratches here. We go in the back. This is scratched. This is fading. Whatever that is right there. But uh, the inside, 
This is what the inside looks like. I mean, it looks fine in here, but a uh, bunch of scratches there. That's also The back looks nice. Uh, yeah, and they do, do still have that cover. So yeah, after that, obviously I said no to the trade. I told the guy like, what the hell is this man? Like, this is a completely different truck from the pictures that you show me on the app. Because on the app, it showed me a Toyota Tacoma Off-Road 2020, 12K miles, you know, barely any scratches, almost in brand new condition. Nothing done to it uh, except for a Tanu cover. And I even asked him, are you sure this is the correct truck? And he's like, yeah, man, I looked up the VIN number and everything. It all matched up, 12K miles, 2020. And I'm thinking in my head, 2020, this shit looked like it's 20 years old with all the scratches and swirl marks and all the defects on the truck. Like, not to mention the previous owner, like already modded this. Like they put a grill, they put like a bunch of stripes, they put like door jam covers, um, they put all kinds of stuff on the truck already. A bunch of scratches on the inside and outside, but like it was just the worst possible condition that you can give me. And I told them like, I'm not going to pay an almost brand new price for a truck that looks 20 years old. So I'm going to refuse this trade and I'm going to look elsewhere. And he's like, yeah, man, I don't blame you. Blah, blah, blah. I do apologize. And like, it was just ridiculous. Like, it was a complete waste of my time, a complete waste of my sponsor's time, my family's time. This was like the absolute worst experience ever. And he told me, you can go back on the app. But like, they've already pulled my credit twice, actually. So my credit score went down. So that means with my credit score going down, my loan terms would be changing. Not to mention, I tried checking the truck on the app again. It wasn't there anymore. Like it was removed from my favorites. Like it was almost like my account was completely blocked because every try, every time I tried to get in, look at look up my favorites or my vehicles, nothing would pop up. It'll just say, sorry, an error occurred. But then when I check online, signed off, it worked perfectly fine. So I don't know what the hell is going on with Carvana. This was the worst possible car buying experience that I've ever had in my life. Yeah, okay, the process of it was nice and simple. You don't have to sit at the dealership for four hours, you know, getting your paperwork signed and whatnot. So maybe it was just me that experienced this, but I'm personally, I'm not gonna go back and get a car from them again because not only did they waste my time, they pretty much catfished me then they, I don't know if they blocked my profile because my profile no longer works. And they just straight up bullshitted me. And I'm like super disappointed. Uh, I was hoping to get the new truck by now. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the sport hatch, which is no problem. I still love this car uh, because you know, this car started the channel. Without this car, I wouldn't have you guys. Maybe I was just one of the few people that had a bad experience in Carvana. Maybe Carvana was a, a good, you know, a good place to trade your car in. I don't know. I had a terrible experience. But uh, if you know anybody or if you had experiences with the Carvana, let me know down below in the description because um, I really want to know what the hell is going on with this company really, even though it says that, you know, it has 4.8 star rating. My rating... Uh, if I if I could rate it negative, I'll rate it negative because this was absolute waste of my time and just pure disappointment and anger. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Also, how do you guys feel about me making a review of the iPhone 14 Pro Max? Because originally this channel was supposed to be a tech, car, and motorcycle uh, kind of content. So uh, let me know down below in the comments if you want to see a review of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. See what I think about it coming from an Android user switching to a full-on Apple.
Let me know, guys.